Hello and welcome back to our series on hidden figures, where we dive into each chapter of the book and learn about the incredible achievements of the women who helped NASA send astronauts to space. In today's video, we will be discussing Chapter 10, titled Home by the Sea. In this chapter, the focus is on the lives of the women after their time at NASA and how they continue to break barriers and inspire future generations. The chapter begins by describing the retirement of Katherine Johnson, who was the last of the women to leave NASA. Although her time at NASA was over, Catherine continued to use her mathematical abilities to inspire students and promote STEM education. We then learn about the personal lives of the women, including Mary Jackson's work as an advocate for the hiring and promotion of women and minorities in engineering and Dorothy Vaughan's work in the community and church. The chapter also highlights the challenges the women faced, including discrimination and inequality, even after leaving NASA. But despite these challenges, they continued to push forward and make a difference. One of the most touching moments in the chapter is when the author, Margot Lichette, describes the women visiting each other in their homes by the sea. enjoying their retirement together and reminiscing about their time at NASA. As the chapter comes to a close, we see how the women's legacy lives on. Inspiring future generations of women and minorities to pursue careers in STEM fields. In conclusion, Chapter 10 of Hidden Figures reminds us that the women's accomplishments did not end with their time at NASA. They continue to break barriers and inspire others long after their retirement. Their legacy serves as a testament to the power of perseverance, dedication, and passion. Thank you for joining me today as we explored this chapter. Make sure to tune in next time as we dive into Chapter 11, titled The Area Room. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like comment, and subscribe for more content like this.